Alright, welcome back to another video here at Bit Heroes Explained. Today we are going to be fusing Stratos, the mythic tank from Raid 6, and we're going to talk about everything that you need to know about him. So, to make this guy, you're going to need one of the raid bosses, and you're going to need three of each of the different mobs that you'll face in Raid 6, but everything to make him is going to be within Raid 6, which is something new, and hopefully we'll see more of that in the future. The only exception is the Goblin of Raid 6. You don't need him for this one, so you don't have to worry about that. And one thing that's unique to Raid 6 is that when you face these guys, when you're fighting them in combat, you're actually fighting the fused version. When you persuade them, you're actually going to catch a, the unfused version. And then, of course, you're going to have to bump them up a tier. You're also seeing the Dewdrops, which is a material that's specific to Raid 6. This, the drop rate on this is not affected by item find, and I'll probably make an item find video in the near future, kind of going into the details of that, because I'm still getting a lot of item find questions. But dew drops are not specific to the amount of item find you have, and they're not affected by the difficulty um, of the raid that you're doing. So the, the drop chance on these is about, you'll get one dew drop for every two raids that you complete. And keep in mind, I'm saying complete, because if you don't clear the, the dungeon, you might die right before the one pack that actually gives you the dew drop, and that'll definitely affect your numbers. So, you're going to have to get one of these bosses, and you will fuse him up, and then you'll get three of the different epic familiars in there. And we're going to show those guys off, so these guys right here. Can't use my scroll wheel because it'll move my browser and that'll trigger everybody. But these are the guys that you fight in there. When you persuade them, you'll catch these guys and then you'll use these drops to bump them up. And in total, you'll need 1,050 dew drops. So that means you'll need to do 2,100 raids, um, which if the content was new would be reasonable to complete. But since we're going to be seeing tier 10 soon, um, it's going to take you some time if you want to go for Stratos. But we have done just that. Today we got our last dude drop and we're going to be fusing this guy right here. Before we do that, we're going to talk about um, his stats a little bit. So he's a tank familiar and you can see that his stamina is very low. So a lot of people wonder uh, what's the point of having this guy. And we have to talk about bait tanking. So bait tanking is the art of having the stamina or the health lowest on the tank so that any attack like um, this one right here that says damaged weakest enemy will go towards the bait tank. The way the weakest enemy attack works is that whatever target has the least health at that moment, not total stamina, but the least health at that moment, the target, the attack will go there. So since he has 844, even though he's got damage reduction, he's still got 844, that is less stamina than, for example, the Walkums that I run. I run these guys stabled up to plus 5, they have more health than him, so he would be able to work for it as a bait tank. And if you're using X5, he's got a lot more stamina, so that's pretty easy there. But, for example, if you're using Wallogder and it is not stable to plus 3, he will not be able to bait tank for this guy. So, who knows? A lot of people are wondering if there will be some sort of change to the amount of stamina on Wallog. Um, who can say what the future holds, but um, as it is currently, you'd have to stable him up to plus 3 to have Stratos be able to be a tank that can bait for him. As far as the attacks, he's got a lot of attack power and a lot of agility, so he actually puts up some good numbers. He's got a good shield, he can hit the strongest enemy, which is a really good attack. If you have one enemy left, you'll be spamming this for the maximum amount of damage. If you want to snipe out an enemy, the weakest attack will be good as long as there is no bait. And then unfortunately, the way the two SP skills are balanced, it's never really going to be viable to use a 2 SP skill, especially on this guy, which is unfortunate because the spread heal is nice, and a damage random enemy actually would do more damage than this one, but it is what it is. And one thing a lot of players miss is that he absorbs the first attack against him per battle. Now, per battle means each individual fight, so if you go in a dungeon and you have 10 battles, this ability can proc each time. And then as far as absorb, so absorb is one of the first defensive modifiers that is calculated when attack comes in and it means that a damaging attack has a 7.5 percent chance to actually heal him instead so that'll be pretty significant in keeping him nice and healthy and then of course damage reduction just reduces all the damage that he will be seeing so that is enough talking let's actually go and pull the lever and make this guy this will actually be the first mythic fusion that i have on this account and we see it right here look at that oh exciting and then all the friend requests come in because i'm 
not doing this too far at off hours. Oh, here we go. <laughs> One of the fun parts about this is the community. And let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, eighteen different requests. And I'm filming this around uh, 2 a.m. on Central. But anyways, all right, look at this guy. If you didn't notice, he actually uses the same character model as Zarlok, which is the mythic familiar tank from the Inferno Expedition. So hopefully someday I'll be I'll be doing a deep dive on him. But alright, same guy that we saw here. And let's do something right now. Let's jump into some PvP. I'm gonna change my team up. Actually, I know what I'm gonna do. Let's go to stable. I've got two of these guys. Oh no, I don't want to release it. Usually I run with two of these Gugurum. And I'm going to stable him up so that there we go to make a spot on the PvP team for this guy. So previously I had two Gugurum. I'm actually going to put the Stratos in here. Look at that. Mm, looks good. Looks good. Put him in the back right there. Wow, he's actually got the most speed on my team. Um, as far as his stats, he's got 54.2 attack. He's got 80.2. No, excuse me, at 20.8 on stamina, and he's got 25% um, on attack. So he's a very offensively minded guy, and we're doing it. We're jumping into some PvP right now. I'm going to pick some easy fights, which is probably this guy. And I'll try to do some manualing here, just to kind of show him off. So my character is actually a bait tank, and uh, which is a little bit unfortunate because my amount of use on this guy will be much less. Look at that. It's a good hit from Stratos. I won't get a lot of value out of having Stratos here. But if I get chunked up or I take a ton of damage um, with this guy, I can do some tank swapping, and then he'll be beneficial for me there. You saw one of my walk ons get picked off. I'll be doing a video in the future going a little bit more in-depth on um, which... Let's see. Let's do which uh, healing familiars are the most valuable, and since Wacom has such low health as we saw when I was looking through the stats, um, I don't know, I'll save that for another video. We'll talk about it then. But anywho, this is Stratos. Pretty cool. He fits in if you run a bunch of Googs. Um, he'll definitely fit in the scheme. But yeah, looks fun. He's going to be a fun addition to the team.